Wallahi, my brothers, Wallahi, I take an oath by Allah. You have to come to terms. You have to come to believe with certainty that every single human being who ever lived, who ever is living, and whoever is to come and live on this earth, Wallahi, every single human being, every single jinn, every single animal that walks on this earth, every single bird that takes the flight in the sky, every single fish that swims in the oceans of Allah Azza wa Jal, Wallahi, every single land, every single country, Wallahi, with all their governments and all their military force and all their might and all their science and all their money and all their know-how, all with the exception of none, every country, every tree, every grain of sand, every mountain, every river, every ocean, every ocean, Wallahi, every star, every sun, every moon, every single planet, every single angel, the billions and billions and billions of angels, all of them, with the exception of none, Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil, all the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above it, the eight that carry the flag of Allah, the hearts of Allah, all are dead, all are dead. Nothing moves, nothing stops, nothing makes, nothing breaks, nothing gives, nothing takes, nothing rises, and nothing falls, nothing harms, and nothing benefits. In Allah. And into this, Yaqeen and faith is in your heart. That nothing, that everything is dead, everything. Except Allah. Allah doesn't need anything, anyone. No prophet, no angels, no jinn, no ins. We need him. He's al Hayyul Tayyul. He's the ever living. He's the first with no beginning. He's the last with no ending. He's Allah. He is Allah. Al Malik. He's the king. He's the king. He is the one who on the day of judgment, when everything will come to an end, when Allah Azza wa Jal will order the destruction of every living creature, when Allah Azza wa Jal will, Allah will order the destruction, the death of every human, of every animal, of every jinn, of every angel, until there comes a point where there is absolutely nothing in existence except Allah. And Allah will call out, Aina al Muluk? Aina Abna al Muluk? Where are those kings? Where are those kings who thought they were kings? Where are the sons of those kings? Allah will call out, where are the tyrants? Where are the gangsters? Where are the boys that thought he was something? Where? Aina Abnaum. Where are their children? Allah will call. Where are they? And then he will ask, Limanu Mulkulyaum. To who is the kingdom today? Who? Nothing will answer. Allah Himself will answer. Today it's to Allah, the one and only.